for the supplementary. Uh, question number seven, the Honourable Nikki Kaye. Mr Speaker, question to the Minister of Education. Has the government made a decision to rule out an increase in the pay offer for secondary or primary school teachers in the current collective bargaining negotiations? The Honourable Chris Hopkins. Mr Speaker, the Ministry of Education is continuing to negotiate with the NZDI and the PPTA. Uh, and as the former minister, I'm sure, is aware it would be inappropriate to comment on the ministry's bargaining mandate. Mr. Speaker, supplementary question. Does he agree with the Ministry of Education's decision to refuse to provide the financial breakdown of offers despite NZDI and PPTA asking for this information on behalf of their 40,000 teachers? The assertion in the question that information is published on the Ministry of Education's website. Not. Mr Speaker, supplementary question. Does he agree with the decision by this government to spend $191 million of surplus funds on diplomats such as New Zealand's embassy in Stockholm rather than additional teacher pay? Order. 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 Those decisions are, are, are not uh, those for this minister. Jamie Strange. Does he still consider that the current offer to NZDI was a good offer? And if so, why? Mr Speaker, yes I do. The current offer to uh, NZDI, the primary school teachers, would result in a $7,043 increase to the top step, which is the step that most primary school teachers are on. To put that into contrast, the last three agreements put together resulted in an increase to the top step of 6,969, wow. wow. less than the amount that's being offered in one agreement. Question. Does he accept that the additional funds through collective bargaining to resolve teacher shortages, given the Ministry of Education numbers alone, indicate that over the coming years there could be a shortage of more than 4,000 teachers? Mr Speaker, the shortage that we inherited is very concerning and it is an indictment on the track record of the previous government that they cut funding for teacher supply initiatives and that is the mess that we are cleaning up. With regard to the current teaching workforce, actually retention rates are exceptionally high. The issue is that we haven't been training enough teachers because there was a 40 per cent reduction in the number of teachers being trained under the previous government. Oh, Nikki Kaye. Oh. Nikki Kaye. Mr Speaker, supplementary question. With inflation out today at 1.9 per cent, what does he say to the secondary uh, school teachers who have been offered 2 per cent, given $5.5 billion surpluses and are being told by the Prime Minister no more cash? Mr Speaker, Pay is not the only issue that teachers are negotiating about. They're also negotiating about working conditions. In fact, the 2 per cent is only for some of the secondary teachers. There is a range of percentage increases, um, and the, the 2 per cent in the middle doesn't take into account the fact that many of those teachers will move on the salary band as well. The Right Honourable Winston Peters, I want to assure the member that, I, that he is noticeable and I do see him. Well, yes, but it goes that way and this way, and it goes on seniority. I don't want to push the point. No, no, no. It, it goes on who I call. The right uh, no, no, quite. No, no, sir, it goes on precedent. Right. I assure the member that standing orders and speakers' rulings are very clear. The decision to who to take for supplementaries is mine and mine alone. This time I call him. Could I ask the Minister, for a teacher to enter the teaching force in 2019, when would that teacher have had to enter the teaching training college to get skilled and qualified, and how many short were we back in 2016? Mr Speaker, the, there was a 40 per cent reduction over the last decade in the number of people entering and completing initial teacher education. Uh, it is at least one year of specific teacher training to become a registered teacher. Um, for some, it is up to three years of training, depending on the qualification that they are doing. Right. Supplementary question. Can he confirm he's been advised of planned rolling strikes in November for primary school teachers and the potential of other strikes for secondary early next year, and at what point will he take any responsibility for no settlement? 
Mr Speaker, in answer to the uh, first part of the question, no, because the NZDI are balloting their members um, and they cannot notify us until the ballot has been conducted. Generally, that's the way of things in a democratic system. You wait for the outcome before you notify uh, people of the result. Um, with regard to the secondary teachers, the secondary teachers have been very clear in their commitment to negotiating with the government and that industrial action would be um, a last resort. Um, so, and, and re With regard to the accepting responsibility for the problem, I do accept responsibility for cleaning up the mess that I inherited from that minister and her previous government. Question number eight, Anahila Kanongataha Suisuiki.